It's time to make engine baffles. I've been putting this off for quite a while because um, it's a real pain to make them. They take forever. But I've run out of other things to make, so um, now's the time. For those who don't quite understand what engine baffles are all about, um, this is an air-cooled engine. So no water cooling. So it relies on air flowing over the cylinders to keep it cool. Um, so to do that, just like liquid cooling, the air needs to flow through particular places to cool the engine properly. So if we just left it open like that, the air would, it's pretty lazy. That's why I would probably respect it actually. Um, air will just fly over the top and not actually go through and cool the bits that it needs to. So we have to force the air to go through the cooling fins down through this spot in here, down there, down the back here even. Um, all around these cylinders and make it go through where it needs to to get the correct cooling So as you can see we've got to make all of the usually aluminium baffles that'll that'll um, Make the air go where it needs to and there's some very funky shapes going to go into these things around here. So um, Yeah, let's get started I suppose Isn't that a funky little piece? Who'd have thought a shape like that would be on an aeroplane? And that's where it goes. It goes all the way around, picks up on that bolt there and seals up around the alternator and the engine case and onto the cylinder. And then there'll be another little piece that'll pick up on this bit and this bit and then it'll go out over there and join up on the cowling. Simple. rubber seal onto the baffles so I riveted them all up and got them in place we're just gonna put the engine cow back on in a minute and we'll try it out and see what gaps I need to adjust where else are we around this side turned out all right I reckon it'll do um, yeah there's lots of work to be done on the front here still so these these will be um, holes so this one will go to this hole here and that'll go down to your carburetor heat. And then this one here, um, I'm gonna duck down and round the back here somewhere, which I haven't done yet, will be an oil cooler. So um, 
We'll give the put the cowls on and have a look. Got the cowling dummy fitted back up again, just to check for the seal and how it all looks. So there's a little bit of work to be done on this little bit here, this area. So we'll trim that and uh, things. What else down the back there? So this bit at the back here needs a little bit of work as well. And this bit here, same on the other side. So just probably a little slot or two here so that'll sit down nicer. But um, yeah, that looks okay there. And then down in a little cavity here where the alternator and everything that sits down nicely on the on that shelf there so that's the that's the top of this oh, where are, there we are of the intake so that will sit down like that looking good now it all comes off again and little tweaks here and there back on again yeah done now I love bashing metal it's so cool look at that isn't that fun I started painting already so some of these bits are all painted and riveted all together I've got the, some more bits to go prepping them and getting them ready for paint and making extra little pieces here and there. Oh, there they are all done all painted actually what I got to do is go over a few of them and just seal up a few of the gaps that are in there before they get mounted up here because I'll go on and there'll be extra gaps to seal up around the case there and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 